Hello, lovely Capricorn, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your subscriptions, Capricorn. As we begin, we're going to ask your guides and your angels what advice you need right now. This is going to be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. Rising, Sun signs, Moon signs. The eclipse, the solar eclipse, is going to be affecting your 10th house. This is your career, your standing, 10th house themes. Let's shuffle. Okay. This is your professional sector. Let's see what advice you have. So for some of you, congratulations. You can be coming a parent, okay, Capricorn? For some of you, or there's someone pregnant that's around you, you could be coming a grandparent. But it also feels like for some of you, this is a situation in your life that you're giving birth to a new idea. So when it comes to this section with your professional sector, you're being cautioned. You need to look deeper into this area. Like I feel you're being protected from it, whatever it is during these changes. So there's changes that are happening and you are not clear. Now we have 29 degrees, which is a difficult degree. It's a critical degree with what your ruler Saturn being in Pisces right now. So there's confusion. There's things that are not clear. There's a process of getting ready to let go. Okay. It feels like whatever it is right now, you do not have enough information. It feels like whatever it is with Pluto going retro, leaving retrograde on the 11th or 12th of this reading, it could be like a big news coming in, like clarity coming in, okay? Where you'll be able to fly again because I do see taking action will be coming in. So it feels like right now, like the first two weeks of October, the solar eclipse, is going to be a feeling where you're ending karmic debt or you're making finalized decisions. You're done with something here. There's something you're done with. It's time to give birth to a new area. Now, Venus in Scorpio is like a cleanup. It's a deep cleanup right now. Whatever situations in your life, it feels like you're finalizing, you're clearing up areas here. But you need to, to be warned here. Be cautious, okay? Even though you're being protected here, you don't want to do anything. When you're when you're confused, don't do anything. Don't make any decisions right now. You're indecisive. There could be an overload. There could be something you're not seeing clearly, which can be a block, okay? So we're going to see what this block can possibly be here. But it feels like with Bridget, Merlina, and Isaiah here, okay, you do have guidance at this time, okay? I feel that your guides are asking you to be patient, okay? You might need an expert's advice, Capricorn, before you make this big decision. It could be property, okay? It could be a family decision, a family dynamic. Something where you're very responsible. These are your responsibilities. This could have to do with children, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 2024. Okay, there feels like there's deception going on here, okay? This is for my lovely Capricorn. Pluto has been with you from 2008. So these are 16 years where this eclipse is the final and last eclipse that'll be happening right now. And it feels like Leo, Leo's here, and it's saying confidence is your key to success. There could be a lot of pride, a lot of ego with Leo, okay? Uh, there could be like a feeling of don't make any impulsive decisions right now uh, with Leo. Leo's about the energy of confidence, creativity, taking action, making bold statements, bold moves here. But it also feels like we see that you want to take the lead when it comes to your dream, okay? The energy is waxing crescent right now. So October is going to be a time to keep the faith in your dreams. Don't give up and have the confidence right now to persevere when it comes to your career. This could be an entrepreneur. This could be taking the lead 
when it comes to something that you're very gifted, you're very talented, or you're ready to, to be creative, have a creative outlet. So it looks like a new business. It looks like a new passionate beginning, a new potential that has a lot of power and creativity that you're about to take off on. Now let's get you a wisdom of the oracle here, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart. So Leo rules that fifth house here, okay? The fifth house is romance, love affairs, creativity, children. This is a time of fertility, a lot of fertility here, okay? So if you're looking to give birth, this could be definitely the time where I feel right now where you can be, congratulations, you're getting pregnant here, okay? For some of you, I'm seeing someone who's almost due here, okay? So there could be a due date. But there's a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Feels like there's a lot of air also with Merlina. It's like the magician. You could have Virgo or Gemini in your chart. Yep, exchanging these gifts. Number 27, Capricorn. For some of you, your birthday is on the 27th. It's like the cat is out of the box. It's time to definitely show the world what you got here. And you are blessed. So you're too blessed to be stressed. There's a number two here. So when it comes to 22, 22 is definitely when the sun will move in Scorpio here. So there's something uh, very important around the 22nd of this month. For some of you, you are... December 22nd. You're the beginning of Capricorn season. So you could have like a Sagittarius placement also here. It also feels like with the twos, I'm seeing two, two, two. You're at a crossroads in your life here. Now you could be somebody who is very gifted, very talented when it comes to the arts. Professional dancing, professional music, professional artist. You're someone who could also be into creative projects, like you have your own line, okay? Something that you make, something that you create here. And it feels like there's a big blessing that's here. This is a month of blessings for you. Whatever this is, like I feel, don't lose faith. It's like you're opening the box and there's a gift. You are the gift here, Capricorn. The gift is you, okay? So you're very gifted. Like, I, like I'm saying, I'm creating myself. But whatever it is, okay, it's going to be your confidence. So this is a feeling of self-esteem, having more self-esteem, being more confident in yourself, be more decisive. So when you don't have enough information, it's asking you to do research. So you want to take the lead, right? And it's going to mean taking the lead is going to mean you need to process the information processing data right now. Now we have Jupiter also going retrograde in Gemini on the 9th of this reading, and it'll be there till February 4th. So when it comes to your hopes, your dreams, this creative energy, Jupiter and Sagittarius, because we have fire here, it's like, yes, this can go very well. There's a beautiful flow in the month of October, right? It also feels like Eight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. There is something that I feel that you are emotionally withdrawing your energy from. It's a feeling of the eclipse tells me you're fed up, you're done with it, you want to finalize it. It's like you're getting ready to move forward and move on the eclipse season. So Pisces uh, lunar eclipse was at 25 degrees in September, I believe on the 25th. So we're in the eclipse portal right now and Knight of Swords. Where are you rushing to? Because it feels like you're moving very quickly and you have love here. This is exactly, I feel, what you were waiting for. It also feels like this comes out of left field. The Knight of Swords can be very quick moving messages. Getting ready to travel very fast. But it feels like, once again, when you're confused and they're cloudy, you don't have enough information, this could be a dramatic move, okay? It feels like there's some hurtful words, some hurtful actions. And the Ace of Cups is here with the Three of Wands. Okay. There is this feeling where, like, as you begin to walk away, you're getting ready to leave a situation, Capricorn. That's when this person rushes in with communication. 
trying to hold you back from moving forward. Someone here doesn't want to let you go. The Ace of Cups is this new beginning. So there's a new beginning here where I feel with the Ace of Cups. It's like this is what you've been waiting for. You've been preparing for it. It also feels like this is the this is going to bring in a lot of expansion and a lot of growth. Whatever it is, you're jumping on it. It's like this Ace of Cups can be a new beginning start off in love, right? It's like your heart's desire is here. Whatever you're walking away from, you're walking away from conflict here, okay? You're pulling away from a, a situation where there's been a lot of trouble, a lot of jealousy, a lot of pride, a lot of ego, okay? And it feels like with the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress here. This can be a mother, a daughter, doesn't have to be. Venus in Taurus, Venus in Libra. It's like there's some conflict going on here. This could be like you're the divine feminine here. All right. You're getting help, I feel, and assistance from your children or a daughter or someone who's single here. Okay. So it could be there's help, but there's also a feeling where there's five of wands. People are jealous of this. The Empress is a glamorous energy. It's, a, it's an energy of profound success, harmony, being in harmony with the universe right now. But there's some conflict that's going on here. So it feels like there's competition. But it feels like whatever's coming in, Capricorn, is rushing in towards you in love. So someone could be coming right back around. Let's see what happened in the past. For some reason, I feel that you're connecting this Knight of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's two different nights. One is of air, one is of emotions. So we got in the past, the Knight of Cups was here, a romantic love offer, falling in love, a Seven of Cups. A lot of confusion, once again, in the past. A lot of options. This could be like a feeling where in the past, you had options in love. And Knight of Pentacles, look all the knights, but this knight is in reversed. So there was somebody here that I feel like Capricorn, you could have been bored. It could be a feeling where you were bored. You, you took some time off. You got off the horse in the past here. But it feels like whatever this was, it was like this, this love was rocky. It was stormy. It was also, there was an option here that you, that you definitely took the Knight of Cups here. And it feels like Ten of Wands. It absolutely left you like holding the bag or holding the burdens, okay? It burnt you out in the past. There was a relationship that came with a lot of responsibilities here, okay? It was back-breaking, like it came with a lot of work that had to be put in to that past situation here, okay? And it feels like you were in a situation that was not stable, okay? There was no stability here, okay? So it could be, you know, there was definitely a, a, a two different people Two different options in love here. And now we got this Knight of Swords washing in. So tell me what's coming into the near future that Capricorn don't see. High Priestess, halfway, Pisces. This is a feeling of your inner knowing, bringing the metaphysical into the physical. You have an inner high knowing, trusting your psychic abilities, trusting your guts. There's secrets here. There's things that are hidden. Something's not exposed, five of wands. There's, there's definitely competition here, Capricorn. There's conflict, there's secrets that have been said behind your back, and you know this. And the Ace of Pentacles, you, your silence speaks volumes here. Be very silent when it comes to this competitive offer here. You've got a golden opportunity that's going to work in your favor. So if you were having, say this is your professional sector, okay, it feels like in the past here, there was something here that you got, it was just like you weren't in, it was unbalanced in the past, okay? You are in a situation now where I feel you're jumping on board onto something that you love. It's a new beginning, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. There is competition here, but you got this, and it's about to take off quickly, like speed, rocket ship speed. It's about to take off, so buckle up, Capricorn. <clears throat> this is an opportunity that I feel you will not refuse. It could also be feeling like you're going to return back to your roots or back home, Six of Cups, or there'll be travel. 
you could travel for work for some of you. It could be like you're someone who travels for work, your professional sector. For some of you, this is eight of wands. There's going to be some quick shift, some movement here. And there is this feeling here where you're breaking free. Now, it feels like this is a breakthrough in your work with this Ace of Pentacles. Something solid, something you've been manifesting. It's a solid gain in life, okay? And it's saying to be, not to expose everything, not to expose it to everyone. You have some jealous people around you here. So people that were fighting for this opportunity that you are receiving. You are in the receiving energy here. So let's see what your challenge is. What's this challenge that could be here for Capricorn? Six of Swords. There's a lot of baggage. It could mean like <clears throat> there's things you need to process with the Six of Swords. These are mental energy. So you need to think about what do you need to let go of? What do you need to give away? What do you need to donate? What's holding you back, okay? So there could be a lot of emotional gunk, emotional baggage that's holding you from moving forward at this time. Eight of Wands is here, so it's coming in as a challenge. Okay, it's like there's setbacks, there's delays, things that are holding you back from... And it's creating a lot of frustration. Five of cups in the reverse. You're ready to move on. Once you accept what this situation is, acceptance is going to be everything in October. Okay. So it's like there is this time now with the eclipse where it's eclipsing something out of our life. Okay. Where we're done with something here. And it feels like five of pentacles. Yeah. You're done with this area. Okay. Now is the time to accept and cut your losses in a situation so that you can move on, okay? It's like this needs to be released, whatever this is here. Whatever you've been holding on to from the past, past regrets, past failures, and you need to accept and be open for forgiveness because there's something shiny and bright. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, that is a beautiful energy here. The Ace of Cups is saying... Go with the flow. Go with the flow in October. Five of Pentacles is a low vibrational energy. It's a feeling of insecurity, worry, financial loss, and Five of Cups. So it feels like your worries are about to end. There's a financial opportunity or something long-term that's being offered to you. Let's see what your advice is. What is Capricorn's advice? Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. A family investment, success, stability, chunky money. There's three generations here. The Ace of Wands. There's a passionate new reset, a passionate new beginning. You got three aces, Capricorn, because justice is here. Two of Wands. You have a choice to make here. It might mean traveling. Two of Wands can be travel. It could be networking. Are you ready? Are you up for the challenge? Are you ready to go the distance? This is preparing. Preparation to a what? Getting your ducks in the row because you are making a decision. So for some of you, you're doing what's best for the whole. You're doing what's best for your financial success. You're doing what's best for your family. There's a brand new passionate beginning with Libra energy. This is where the solar eclipse is. It's at 10 degrees. There's a pivotal point in your life. It's like this is where you can reach a karmic depth, right? South node in Libra has the south node, which is karmic depth with the solar eclipse. It's the last eclipse. So there's a passionate new beginning that's going to be bringing in a lot of financial success and stability here. This is a time to balance the scales, to bring more peace and harmony. It feels like whatever this is, you feel like you're up for the challenge. So it's a passionate new idea. It also feels like whatever it is, you're very enthusiastic about it. Two of Wands. This could be someone at a distance from you. Okay, it doesn't have to be. But it feels like you're ready for this new beginning. So there's a karmic reset that saves the day. Yeah, Page of Wands. 
your possible outcome is you have a lot to look up towards. You got a lot to look forward to. Look all the communication. Page of Pentacles, page of one. Lots of fresh starts here. Hermit and the Empress at the bottom of the deck. You could have Venus in Taurus or Venus in Libra. The Empress vibes are here. So there's a big cleanup that's taking place in October. And it feels like with the Hermit Virgo energy. This is like a feeling where you're about to receive a lot of messages. It could be children. We've seen children in your reading. There could be opportunities that are coming to you. It could be like the hermit after a period of going within, okay? This is like a, a, a light bulb moment for you here, okay? The hermit is about thinking, searching, reviewing, going within, receiving higher guidance at this time. This hermit is like, if you've been in the hermit stage, you won't be in it for long. You're coming out of this isolation period where you could have been isolating but it also tells me, Capricorn, you do have a very spiritual connection with someone here. The both of you have been through hell and back here. The high priestess is Pisces and Virgo. This is the new shift of 2025 where the nodes are going to shift. The north node and the south node will be shifting into Virgo and Pisces for 2025. It begins, I believe, in January or February of 2025. Some major shifting energies that are happening, okay? It also feels like you're going to have a major glow up. This is fertility, beauty, love, pleasure. There's a major glow up with the Empress here. There's a feeling of definitely being very more glamorous, a lot of charm. The Empress is an energy here of a major glow up that's coming in your life, man or a woman. Like I'm feeling, you're giving birth here to a new idea. For some of you, you're starting a new family, okay? A situation where you have family support here. It also feels like for some of you, there's a pregnancy here. And this Ace of Wands in Libra, it's like you're doing what's right. You're doing what's right by the Empress here. Yeah, where things begin to work in your favor. So in your professional sector, you're having a major glow up in your 10th house, okay? This is your public image. So there could be you're changing your appearance. You could be making changes at this time where you are so blessed. Your key to success is high vibrational. It's about the quality that you give here. The Three of Pentacles is about things beginning to work in your favor when it comes to your work, your career, your finances, things are becoming aligned, body, mind, and spirit here. Okay, let's get you a romance card. And I see called create there. So you're creating with the cre with the creator right now. Yeah, and even though, like I'd say, keep faith in your dreams. Don't stop doing what you're doing. You're going to be able to exchange these gifts. You've gained a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge along the way here. But we'll see what this caution can be. What is this caution? There could be new love. Like we see the new love, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Swords is not here. So you're not clear yet. But there is new love here. If you're open to it, if you're ready, there's a new person here. A new chapter in love. And there's a lot of passion that exists here between the both of you. So Capricorn, for some of you children, yeah. Children are affected by the choices you're making. So there could be co-parenting. Someone here could have children. For some of you, it feels like you're releasing the past and you're getting ready here to move forward here. Okay, let's get an advice card for Capricorn to leave this reading off. This is for October. What advice for Capricorn? What is the advice for Capricorn? It says prioritizing self-healing right now. Put your needs above others for once. It's time to focus on you. Self-healing takes time and a lot of self-love. Remember, open wounds don't heal into scars overnight. Take the time that you need in order to feel happier and healthier within yourself. There is no rush. There's no rushing the process for you, Capricorn. 
take your time. This is an Ace of Cups. This is prioritize self-love and healing at this time. This is radical self-love. I'm going to leave the reading there, Capricorn, and have a blessed month. God bless you all. I'll see you in the next read. Thank you so much.